let's examine what happens to the food we eat. To do that, let's look at Mr. Sharma's breakfast choices on a regular day. Parathas with dahi and achar. The parathas in Mr. Sharma's diet are what we commonly identify as carbohydrates. These mainly come from grains like wheat, maize, rice and their products. These carbs are the main source of the fuel that helps the body to perform daily chores. The protein coming from the curd that Mr. Sharma consumes helps build muscles, organs and glands. It also helps repair and replace them so that the body can keep on working. The fat from the cooking medium used to roast the parathas from the curd and the achar all in Mr. Sharma's diet act as an energy reserve, cushion our organs, help us keep warm in cold weather and also transport some vitamins via blood to wherever they are needed in the body. Digestion of food begins in the mouth. However, each of these three nutrients is digested at its own pace. The chewed food mixed with the digestive enzymes of the saliva travels to the stomach where the digestion processes await the food's arrival. The stomach muscles churn the food with strong acidic enzymes that help break down the food further. Together, these macronutrients supply energy to our body cells and the body cells in turn allow us to do things that we want to do like walk, eat, run, dance or sleep. What's interesting though is that our body is able to respond differently to different types of carbohydrates, proteins and fat. For instance, processed or simple carbs like refined flour, white rice, ready to eat snacks and meals enter the bloodstream swiftly giving our body an energy rush, what is also known as the glucose high. In comparison, the unprocessed or complex carbs like brown rice, millets, whole wheats or multigrains enter the bloodstream slowly providing the blood with a steady source of energy for a longer duration. Do check out our video on what happens when our body is unable to absorb the glucose in the bloodstream. More commonly recognized as a lifestyle condition called diabetes. Also check out our video on how unhealthy levels of fat consumption can lead to a range of heart issues and even heart attack. For a range of medical terms that have baffled you and kept you wondering, do check out our video on medical terms explained. Until then, choose healthy and keep smiling.